There are nights when I cry myself nosebleed. When I cry till I shake and then cry till I'm still again. When I am too full of ocean and there is no moon left to pull it from me, so I lay prone as cliff walls and simply leak. When I am moon. When I push and pull and push and pull myself through endless hours to forget the sanctity of shorelines. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives and I need all the world's fingers to show him what I so often fight to conceal from you. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives and I need only gesture to be all of me. He laughs. I do not. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives, and I show him a picture of my room, of the streets, of the chair I am sitting in, of the table I ate at this morning. I try to paint it into motion, show him the pain's life when no one's looking, resort to candid, pristine mirrors, dripping faucets, unclean sink, shower floor. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives, and I laugh at his joke. He does not get the joke. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives, and I show him burial grounds where birth and hips once breathed new life. Tell him there are dead things in every part of me. Tell him they are not part of me. Tell them I am not dead like them. Tell them the pain does not live here, and I will not die here. Tell them the pain does not live. Tell them I am alive, I swear it. Beg him to tell me I am alive, even as I pray for an end. Doctor asks me to point to where the pain lives and I lead him to stairwells and alleyways, graffiti bathrooms of cold tile and dirty water, sidewalk curbs and highway pods. I lead him to the peripheries of the world, pull him to sit with me, show him exactly where the pain lives.